Liberation is a lie which mankind has been told since the dawn of time. It requires guts and audacity to stand up and say, we won't buy that. This is the reality. This is the reality as it is imposed on us is what I will deal with. And within this, we will find answers. Yes, there, is, there are ways to find cure for hunger from tyranny. You can get out of your, your obsession with, with alcohol, drugs, or sex. But that, the desire to, for that super desire of liberation is something which has taken the human race uh, on, into some different path. And that has been the malady of, uh, of generations I've seen. I'm also reminded of something which I experienced myself in South India. There is a fascinating temple. At the crack of dawn, devotees assemble there. And they want to take a glimpse of the icon which is there behind the closed doors. At high noon, the high priest walks in and the doors open. And to the horror, the devotees discover that there's nothing there. It is the temple called the secret of secrets. And that is the secret. The search leads you to discover that that what you're looking for does not exist. There is no oasis yonder. When you give up the quest for that mirage, you deal with the day-to-day -day life. Paradise is here right now. This is the moment. This is the glorious moment in where the face of God, if you call it, truth, what you call it, exists. It's not in this non-existent tomorrow, the after tomorrow in which we, 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 we project this this, this entity called uh, God, freedom, truth. It is that which is kind of tiring you and we do not have the energy to deal with this, this with, the, with the year and now. And finally, before I step down, I must say something which is important is that it would be not unwise for me to say that gurus in this world serve a social need but so do call girls. The idea is very, very stimulating for people to believe that they are on an exalted plane and the person who gives you carnal pleasure is on a lower plane. But the fact is when you cannot deal with the, with the challenges of your day-to-day -day life, you numb yourself either through entertainment, or of uh, going for a movie, having a drink, or seeking, uh, or seeking self-medication through sexuality, or looking for that non-existent nirvana at the feet of the master. The question I ask these sages and seers is, 2,500 years ago, the Buddha said, be a light unto yourself. 2,000 years ago, Jesus said, love thy neighbor as thyself. The fact is, there's not a single corner on this planet which is not soaked with the blood of his own brother. And the fact is, man is still groping in the dark. So maybe the sages and seers were aberrations, maybe just merely mouthing their words repeating them like parrots, we will only fool ourselves and fool the people around, but won't get anywhere. So I would like you to, to leave you with this thought of a parrot.